Okay, we're back uh, working on the 61 Pontiac. We're ranching. Uh, just cleaning up the floor. We put the, uh, cut the hole for the shifter. It might have to be trimmed a little bit more, but that's basically what it's going to be. And we're going to, we, I went and just sw sweeped everything, uh, painted these that Corey put on, and then we're going to glue these on. The only problem is the kit did not come with the back ones. The back ones are different. So we're going to just uh, make our own back ones. Uh, same with these little holes here we'll just put a uh, round make a round piece on there and uh, goop it in and put a little self tapping screw to hold these ones too and uh, we got the carpet uh, getting all uh, laying it flat hopefully in the sun so we're gonna put the carpet in see how that does, works so Okay, less talk and more work, and I'm not paying you guys absolutely zero. Don't throw a leaf at me, young man. Get back to work. <laughs> well, I gotta glue some crap in. Hey, right, just filling some, uh, putting the floor plugs in. Derek's just uh, gooping this one up with just some seam sealer. Don't want the floor to leak. It's a good lead, and one of those gets goes in. Perfect. And we're gonna put a couple uh, sheet self-tapping screws in, just so it doesn't. Uh, doesn't move perfect perfect one two is done three and four over on this side do Oops, dirt from a shoe in. Yeah. Two more to do, and then we'll make some uh, plugs for that. And then the exciting stuff happens. Carpet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm Carpet makes the car. Yeah. People think the rims and tires. No, yeah, carpet does. <laughs> it's all about the stuff you don't see. In 20 years, when someone replaces the carpet in this thing, they'll pull it up and they'll see it's nice and black and. <laughs> well, most likely be dead. Yep. Uh, yeah, we just gotta make some little uh, plugs to go there on, on the block. Those are your flush, they can yep. be square, whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But whatever you want. Yep. What are they for anyway? Uh, I have no idea, because there's a hole in the frame, uh, so I don't know. Okay. I'm betting there was, maybe at one point there was a, uh, a frame mount or something, I'm thinking, but... That's what I thought. I remember mean, when we were cutting it apart. I don't know why I cut your frame out. No. There was nothing on this car, so maybe, I don't know, maybe Chevys have that. If anyone knows, let us know, but it's just a little curiosity thing. So we'll make those plugs and those plugs. This one's got to be a little more. Yeah, we can. We'll, uh, might have to just bend the ends and hammer it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll go cut some steel for that. Alright, roll on one. Roll on one? Didn't they say that on uh, 
three miles. This is the back carpet. Okay, now I guess I gotta get out of the back then. Uh -huh. I'm I'm impressed that you said uh, you heard oh, knew that. Three mile? Yeah. Good movie. I was just watching that the other day. I won't watch it anytime soon. Oh, it's hot. Carpet going in. Uh, We're finished. It goes in this way. I don't know. Or maybe I'm. Nope, we're backwards. You backwards? Yeah. No, we're right. Is it? Yeah. Because we got this okay. hump right here. Yeah. Okay. You can see there's a hump. That looks right to me. Ah, oh, yeah. We're finished. <laughs> we'll have to cut around that. Yes, I, I realize that. But with the shift for shit. Yeah. Oh, we'll oh. just yeah. test fit everything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're going to have a heck of a time test fitting the front. Yeah. Oh, was it? No, I can't pull Corey's that shifter. Uh, race shifter there. It's not a race shifter. Uh, it's a go shifter. A go shifter. Okay, so what are we doing? Are we going to cut this first? Yeah, because we probably could because it's where it's supposed to go. Yeah. Well, because I'm just going, it's molded here. Yeah. And I know where yeah, well, exactly this, this, where. Yeah, this fits perfectly right there. Yeah. So. yeah. And we're. You just have to do a little bit of trim in here, but we can... Um, we'll trim all that stuff later. Um, squish it with the steel plate. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, same with on this side. Like. Okay, I think long gear are pretty equal on both oh, yeah. sides. I'm all right. good. All right, get your knife out, start cutting. That'd be me. Yeah, so I'm I ain't cutting because I need You kind of wrong. <laughs> Even though it's my carpet my car, right? you kind of wrong. <laughs> was Ryan? They late look nice. And for the uh, fire marshal chief guy in Woodlands that says we pick on Kevin too much. Oh, I gotta pick on Kevin more. Exactly. Kevin likes the abuse. I don't think I've ever even picked on him. He needs abuse. Otherwise, uh, he doesn't get things done. Kevin needs to get working on his Model A. Kevin's too damn lazy. He's nuts! Yeah. You can't see that. I don't even know what he does during the day. Yeah, we probably don't need to film this. Roll on two. Okay, uh, we got the front in. Uh, it's pretty close. It might have to move like a half an inch either way. Uh, but we're good on the sides, good on the back. Uh, we cut just a tiny, tiny. That will have to be cut a little bit just to give it more room of ink think but this is in its spot it's all nice up here we'll have to trim the sides a little bit to get it to lay down but yeah it's good overlap there so it fits uh quite nice nice color i thought i picked those you know, yeah you know. It was pretty close to what it originally was in there. Yeah, I think there was a couple colors that were yeah. close. So yeah. but this is sort of a, gives it a, so it like a metallic -y color, which. Yeah. Well, if I you think, want, I, I guess. If you buff this, it'll be. Yeah. I guess next we'll uh, start trimming. And do you want me to grab the sill plates and those plastic parts that go in yeah. there? Or? Yeah, we'll put the plastic pieces in. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll uh, find uh, for the holes dimmer. for the dimmer switch. Uh, and then. Seat belts, I guess. I got no seat belts. You got no seat belts? Okay. Oh, no, no, I've still got the seat belts from that's right, too. Because, yeah, I know I saved them because they were with those weird washer bolt things oh, right yeah. there. But, yeah, these ones have screw ends. Right. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's okay. a different type of seat belts, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. We can always do that later. Too. Yeah, that could be done at a later date. Yep. And we got the back all nice cut around the clamps. Alrighty, I guess we'll looks, start trimming then. Yep, looks good. Earl says, "Start a new. It's the first new piece of gear in this car. Oh, well, the floors. Well, I don't count the floor. I do. It's new. Yeah. Okay, we've got the uh, carpet in. We even got the back seat in. Uh, so that looks." minty we got brand new uh sill plates that we're, we just gotta wait and get some screws for those we even put the little 
plastic uh, covers in. Trimmed a little bit of uh, carpet. The little dimmer switches through the carpet. All those little things that poke through. Still have to put the kick, all well, this, this kick panel's in there. We've got to put the molding on, hold it in there. We'll probably end up, the kick panels are in rough shape, so we'll probably end up just making our own. Same thing with the parcel rebuild. tray. Yeah, I mean, the, I, the back parcel tray, yeah. It's, it's pretty rough, so. It's waterlogged and dirty. So. Sand beat and mm -hmm. garbage. So yeah, I guess tomorrow, I guess we'll put the seat in, or the next day we'll put the front seat in. Yep. And get the screws for the sill plates and wrap it up, put the door panels on, clean them up best we can. And put the steering column up. Um, I might go to the parts car, <coughs> or if not the other car, and use the steering column. I might yeah. switch out columns. It's better? It's not better, but it doesn't have the indicator. Oh, right, yes, it doesn't have the, sh <coughs> the shifter. But th yeah. this steering wheel is way better, mm. so. So yeah. I think that's what I'll end up doing. Yeah, and then we can slowly fix stuff after it's running too. Like Yeah, so I think in the next couple of weeks I like to put the motor and try and yeah. in for sure. And that way it's in and then get stuff like this. See if we can recover. Yeah. See if we can get the uh, vinyl yeah. that color and redo those and maybe even door panels down the road. I wish I had your kind of money. <laughs> I'm sitting down the road. Well, I'm we're making broke. millions. I'm broke. Anyway, I guess we'll see you in the next couple days, probably tomorrow. Yeah, probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. Well, unfortunately, I think this is where we're going to leave the video. Uh, like I said, this is our Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, we uh, just finished all eating, and honestly, we hit, dig up, did have big plans of uh, finishing off the interior, putting the bench seat in. I do have the door panel, it had kind of a bit of a tweak to it, I guess from sitting over the years. So I've got that sitting on a weight trying to straighten it out. Uh, pretty much the interior is almost all put back together. I know we're sitting in the dark here, but I figured out I might as well end this video. But anyway, the next time you will see this thing, and like I said, we are in the dark. So this is pretty crappy, I apologize guys. But the interior is basically in the front seat. Like I said, everybody's gone, we ate too much, you know, Thanksgiving, but uh, like I said, and the day just got away. So, you know, it is what it is, it's life. But uh, like I said, next time you see it, the interior will be all done in it. And yeah, I guess we'll be ready to put the motor and tranny in. Glenn says he has a clutch fork for me, but I think I've uh, talked to a buddy today and I think he's uh, gonna give me one, so that's exciting. So as always, guys, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. I said, like I said, I'm not sure if this video is gonna be very long or whatnot, but uh, like I said, it's one uh, step closer uh, coming to completion you know like the interior it actually looks pretty good so like i said the motor it's all done you guys seen that in the video i've got like i said everything so man do i gotta clean this garage up and then once i get the motor and tranny in uh snow is probably gonna be here shortly in the next two three weeks or so so like i said i'll have everything for the front end i've got most of it here all my front suspension part i just gotta go to the border to pick up my uh power brakes and all that stuff but i've got uh, the bushings and everything else and shocks and tie rods and all that stuff i have here already so we'll probably end up uh later on like once the snow flies or gets cold we'll just jockey things around this can go outside and it'll tarp it up just where this is and spend a few weekends on it but uh i just want to get the engine back in and the tranny in and all that stuff finish up the interior and then yeah then we can start working on the uh brakes and uh jacking up cleaning up underneath and there's a whole pile i made a list of things we got to do but i'll do it once the winter uh, when it gets cold and i can work in here so i gotta clean up in here for a bit and move some things around but yeah like i said sorry it wasn't a really exciting video guys but hey it's all part of it we'll definitely catch you on the next one have a great evening guys we'll see you next week adios